Wow. Um, man, I am really, really speechless. I had no idea it was going to do this well and this fast. I mean, I was funded in less than 48 hours. I think it was like 35 hours. This is ridiculous. I'm blown away. I'm, I cannot thank you guys enough. This is just absolutely incredible. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about when we first started working on the project, when I started writing the script, there was a bunch of scenes that I never shot because I just plain don't have the money to do so. And when I shoot something, if it doesn't look 100% realistic or passable in my eyes, when I go to see films and they have a cheesy effect or some sort of terrible sound effect to use or something and it immediately takes me out of the film, I hate that. I wish they would just find another way to do that. So for my film, if I couldn't do something specific, I'm, I'm, so many different things I was going to try to do in the film, and some things I would decide, okay, if I can't, let's just say I can't create a giant spaceship that flies in and lands and I can't do it completely realistic, well how can I do that without showing it, without making it look like the film is just shot really low budget. I'm trying to make it look like it has a high budget except we had pretty much no money. So. What I'm saying now is any funding that goes beyond what, what my initial initial funding goal was 7,000, I actually have a chance to be able to shoot some of these scenes to be able to expand Norman's world, the things that he experiences. And there's a couple of scenes that I would love to be able to do, and I think it would just, I think it's gonna look awesome. A couple of the scenes to try to make do, we would have, I had my brother and I had some friends of mine literally hopping up and down in a house to create a, to, to make it look like the house was shaking. Start shaking it, okay? So you can start shaking the table, decor. Okay, and action. Wait, wait, walk in. And I don't want to tell you why, because I think that's kind of an inter interesting part in the film, because I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to know exactly everything's going on before you see a movie. Um, I hate trailers nowadays that tell you everything. Now, I wish I could show you more in my film, but that's why I'm helping. I need more funding because we need to record a lot of the audio that was shot in the film because it's all on camera mic, so it doesn't sound very good. I have wasted three years of my life in this stupid place. Just those are the things that when, when you're working on an independent film that's so low budget, um, and especially how I go, uh, go about it is, how can I do this, sh this scene incredibly well by basically tricking the audience thinking no he chose to do it this way it's not that he didn't have the money but he chose to shoot it this way for a reason so I try to do that instead of just go okay here's an alien that walks in that everyone knows is terrible CGI um, I would rather do away with that and try to find a different method to shoot it than doing that if I can't do it a hundred percent at least at the level that I would want to have. You, know, you tumble, you roll down, your glass would be over there. Like, I want you to kind of be like, oh, like, oh my gosh, like, wow, that hurt like crazy. Like, you know, that sucked. You kind of look around like, ah, oh, your eyes are kind of squinting, you can't see. So I just wanted to be able to record this video really quick to say I'm extremely, extremely humbled and thankful for all of your guys' help. This is huge to me. I never would have imagined this many people would have been interested to see a film called Norman. Um, and I'm excited for you guys to finally see it, and I'm excited to see it myself when it's all done. And because for me, I wanted to, especially the name of the movie, I wanted to pick a name that was slightly bland in the sense of the character goes through a lot of awesome journeys and epic stuff, but the name of the main character is kind of normal. That's what I just was kind of going for, and I just thought that was just really interesting. And I was like, I wonder if people would like a sci-fi film just called Norman, just simply Norman. And uh, I think it's going to turn out pretty awesome. So uh, you just keep on sharing it. And I believe I have a special thank you from, from Norman. So I'll let you guys watch that. Thank you so much. Wow. You guys are awesome. This is awesome. In less than two days, we completely funded everything we needed to finish this film and you guys are still giving, which is great. Keep giving, we need it. We can use every extra dollar you wanna to give to support ideas that we threw away initially because we didn't have the time and money to complete them, but this is incredible. I cannot thank you enough for 
the support you have given. Just this, this it's so encouraging to see such a community of people gather around and support this in a way that we did not expect at all. And it has been awesome. Um, I'm so thankful to be a part of this. As you know, I'm playing the character of Norman, and we'll see if I can act or not once the real movie comes out. But anyways, the trailer's awesome. Obviously, you guys like it. And please, keep sharing, keep liking, spread the word around that this film's coming out. It's gonna be awesome. And I am, I am so thankful to all of you who I cannot give a big hug to right now because this is what we needed and you made it happen. So thank you to all of you. Uh, really appreciate it. I know Joel, uh, he's blown away with the support you've given as well uh, and everyone who's worked on this project. And so from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. This is, this is going to be awesome. Thanks, guys.